Hello my dear friends today we shall continue with our analysis of the poem dust of snow written by robert frost in today's session we shall look at the various literary devices that the poet has used in this poem before we continue with the analysis of the poem let's quickly revise the theme of the poem here we know that the poet talks about the curative or healing power of nature it also tells us that nothing in nature is inauspicious even small or negative things can give us happiness and finally the poet tries to stress on the fact that even trivial things can bring positive changes in our life now beginning with the literary devices let's start with the rhyme scheme of the poem this poem as we know has got two stanzas and the rhyme scheme of the poem is a b a b the poetic devices or the figures of speech that the poet has employed in the poem are as follows first one is alliteration as you know that alliteration is the occurrence of the same sound that is used in the beginning of the closely placed words in this poem we have these lines has given my heart where the h sound is repeated and the next line and saved some part the s sound is repeated the next figure of speech is assonance where the prominence of a vowel sound is seen throughout a line in this poem we have the second line in stanza 1 shook down on me where the o sound is very prominent and o as we know is a vowel sound the next figure of speech is enjambment where the same line continues to the next line without the use of any punctuation mark this poem is a very good example of this poetic device as the lines of the stanzas flow to the next line without any punctuation the next figure of speech is metaphor this figure of speech is used when a covert or an indirect comparison is made between two different things or ideas in this poem the poet uses this device of metaphor in the third line of the first stanza when he compares the mass of snowflakes atop the hemlock tree with dust The next figure of speech is imagery. Frost uses simple imagery like a crow scattering snow from hemlock tree and dust of snow falling on the poet to depict the positive effect of nature on the poet. We also find the example of inversion. Now what is inversion? When the structure of a sentence is changed by the poet to create rhyme the poetic license is called inversion in stanza 1 the poetic device inversion is used here we can see that the lines the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree can be actually written as the way a crow shook down the dust of snow on me from a hemlock tree the next figure of speech that the poet used is synecdoche in which a part is made to represent the whole or vice versa in this poem the poet says that his heart has undergone a change of mood because of the shower of snow particles on him but we know that it is not only his heart his entire self experiences a better mood and delight thus using heart the poet has represented his entire being so this is an example of synecdoche the next literary device that the poet uses is symbolism now what is symbolism the use of images use of symbols the dust of snow that the crow sh shakes off is meant to represent joy and hope hence the poet uses negative symbols such as the crow and hemlock tree to convey the idea that we can find joy even in seemingly dark things 
the dust of snow is a symbol of natural joy and energy the dust of snow that the crow shakes of a hemlock tree means passing through the sad and depressing moments the poet is entering into the time full of joy and optimism how we interpret things around us depends entirely on us thus we can conclude our analysis with a simple message that sometimes even negative things or simple matters of life can impact us positively the poet talks about the healing powers of nature in communion with nature that can make our life meaningful and worth living so thank you all for watching this video